My name is Wonstall, Norman Wonstall. I'd worked on many films uh, as a, a, an assistant over the years and eventually I ended up by working on a film with Peter Hunt who was the editor and we worked together on three major productions and on just as we were finishing that he was handed the script of Dr No, the very first James Bond film. All through that film, and I, I suppose I'm one of the few people left now that actually worked on it, I can assure you nobody had any idea whether or not that was going to be a success or not. We knew that we had some excellent material. We knew we had this incredible uh, star in Sean Connery with that incredible line, Bond, James Bond. What we didn't know was whether or not people were going to adapt to the idea of Dr. No as a character, as it was, People accepted him as a villain and the film was a huge success. <music> to be nominated for an Oscar for a sound effects editor was virtually unheard of because there wasn't a category for sound editing. So when I, I was working on uh, Ipcrest File, I was in the recording theatre and Peter Hunt, my editor, just came in and said, Norm, I ought to tell you we've had a uh, a telegram from the Academy in America asking who was responsible for the sound effects on Goldfinger. As far as we were concerned, we just thought it was for their database, nothing to do with Oscars, because there wasn't a category as far as we knew. Very soon afterwards, when they actually invited me to go, then we realised that in fact there was a category and that I had been nominated. My wife and I said, well, we're not going to come back with anything, so let's go and enjoy America and have an experience of a lifetime. It was only when we arrived there and they were treating us with champagne in the hotel and we, what is all this? And then we saw the program and to my amazement, I realized that there were only two nominations. Uh, and so obviously when I was in the, uh, in the ceremony, sitting there waiting for it to happen, I did begin to feel a little bit nervous, but when they actually announced the result, because the applause was so great and the music struck up with the Bond theme, I just suddenly thought, no, let's do it. You know, we're part of something here. And I just felt so calm and I enjoyed making my little thank you speech. For me to leave the industry was a huge decision and I don't know of anyone else who has. I think probably one of the aspects was that I had succeeded in achieving everything I'd wanted and I'd talked it through with my wife and I think also I'd reached that point where even though I was a London lad, I really needed space. I'd always wanted space. But my wife and I said, well, why don't we move to the countryside and I would retrain and we would set up, uh, live a place where we could have animals and live the good life. And I love it here. I love Worcestershire, I love the country, and I love the people.